In this lesson, we are going to be looking at and investigating multiplying proper fractions. So what you'll notice here in this example is it's a, it's a proper fraction multiplied by a proper fraction. But before we get into the rule, we'd like to understand it with a diagram. And there's two methods that are looked at uh, in this particular case. One is a, called the paper folding method, and the other one is just using a model. You'll notice how similar they are uh, as we get into them. So to multiply proper, proper fractions, you could use paper folding or a model. Uh, so I'll show you each of those, and you can choose which scenario of uh, drawing these that you like a little bit better. So for paper folding, or for either scenario, uh, the important thing is to remember that multiplication is often replaced with the word of, or vice versa. Of can replace multiplication. So what we're actually looking for here is what is two-fifths of three-quarters. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide this into three quarters. If we want to know what two fifths of three quarters is, we better first of all represent three quarters. And I'm going to do the paper folding method first. So I'm going to shade in. And you'll notice here that I'm using particular colors. What you might want to do uh, in your notes if you don't have colors is just use some lines. Don't shade this in very darkly. Uh, you might want to just do diagonal lines because you'll notice that we're going to have some overlapping parts here shortly. And that's actually the important thing here. So here's three quarters. I think you'd agree this is three quarters, okay? So let me even indicate that with some brackets. So there's three quarters. We would now like to know what two fifths of three quarters is. So what you'll notice is that I have put this on five lines and I've done that for a reason. So there's fifths and I'm going to shade in two fifths. So I'm going to divide this horizontally into five parts and I'm going to shade two fifths horizontally. So I'm shading three quarters vertically and I want to find out what two fifths of the three quarters is and if I use blue you're going to see the impact of this particular type of diagram. Okay, so I just shaded two out of five rows because that's two-fifths of the entire fraction strip. So two-fifths of three-quarters, you might look here at the overlapping part. Two-fifths of three-quarters is just, again, the overlapping part. Uh, that's where the three-quarters and the two-fifths uh, <coughs> are connecting with each other. So this section here is your answer. So that's six parts out of a total, and if you count all of the parts, you'll notice that there's 20 parts in total. So that's 6 twentieths, which is your answer. And you could reduce that by dividing by 2, and you get an answer of 3 tenths. That's the answer to 2 fifths times 3 quarters using the paper folding method. Uh, the model's nearly identical, except it doesn't use colors and it doesn't use overlapping parts, uh, but you'll notice that it looks almost identical. So 3 quarters would be 3 out of 4 columns, except we don't shade it right away, and 2 fifths would be 2 out of 5 rows. So here's, I broke it into 5 rows, here's 2 out of 5, and these would overlap. The 2 rows and 3 columns would overlap in these 6 parts. So what you're noticing is with a model, you get the exact same answer. So there's 6 parts out of 20 shaded. And if you divide that by 2 to reduce it to lowest terms, you get an answer of 3 tenths. Okay? Uh, so that's the paper folding or model method. It doesn't matter which one you choose to use when you're describing how to multiply a proper fraction by a proper fraction. And what you may notice is there's actually a rule to use. And if you investigated the pattern for how to get the answer, what we notice is that to get the answer, all we actually have to do is multiply the numerators <clears throat> and multiply the denominators, which is a nice, and this works for proper fractions times proper fractions. Um, so multiplying the numerators and multiplying the denominators. So the top times the top, and you'll notice that 2 times 3 is 6, and the bottom times the bottom, 5 times 4 is 20. And that's the exact same answer that we had up here once reduced. So 6 twentieths, if you reduce it to lowest terms, you get an answer of 3 tenths. Okay? 
So the last note to make here is to always represent your answer in lowest terms.